how to use Hubstaff as an employee. So to get started, go ahead and open your desktop browser and then visit hubstaff.com. As you can see, Hubstaff is an all-in-one workforce management tool that can help you manage time, productivity, payroll, and more. This platform is usually used by employers to monitor their employees and usually those who are in a remote setup. So go ahead and sign up. You can tap on this free 14 days trial, but if you're an employee, no need to worry on the plans and subscriptions since your employer should be the one paying for that. So you will be receiving an invite link from your employer. It's an invitation link to sign up in Hubstaff. So you will just click on the link, sign up, and you will then be included in their team. Now, if you don't have a link yet, this is how you will sign up. So enter your personal details and you will then be selecting if you're a business owner or a team member. So make sure to choose the team member. And after that, you need to input their email address to send an invite to be a part of their team. And now once you're in Hubstaff, this is how your homepage will look like. In the dashboard, you will be able to see the overview of everything. So here is a summary of your weekly progress. We have weekly activity as well, and worked this week, spent this week, and projects that you worked on this week. And as you scroll down, a lot more information will be here below. Now, if you don't want your dashboard to look like this, you can edit it by clicking on the edit widget. These are widget. So this one is a widget and this one as well. So basically, the windows displayed in your dashboard. So once you click on it, a list will appear and just check what you want to see and then click to uncheck those you don't want to see in your dashboard. So let's say I want to include a window for today's activity. So simply tap on it and as long as there's a check mark beside the option, it will be visible on your page. Now as you can see, this is the all view which means you are seeing the statistics of everyone in your team. So if you want to see yours only, just tap on me, this is the word me, and the data will then change into yours only. Now here is the time tab. You can tap on it to use and monitor your working hours. But another way to do this easier is to download the app. So simply tap on this blue icon on the top, click on download, and as you can see, you can download it for your Windows desktop, for Apple devices, and other information and other devices so just click on the download button and once you have the app this is how it looks like so you have the timer on top here you can have or you can add work notes and then your start button and then the list of your projects since it is in a different window it will be easier for you to time yourselves while working so now let's go back to the site and what we have here next is the timesheet this is where you can see the exact time of your working hours and what time it occurred. And you have three choices on top. You can see our working hours daily, weekly, or monthly. And this pop-up window is showing randomly. As you can see, it says that a screenshot was taken. So this is for your employer to track what you are doing during working hours. These screenshots taken randomly will then be stocked here under the activity tab of your Hubstub dashboard. As you can see here as well, there is an app and URL under the screenshots tab because all the applications, this is because all the applications and all the URL and links that you open during your working schedule will also be recorded here. So make sure to visit work-related apps only since your employer can see this aside from your screenshots. Now under the location here, you have the map and job sites. Project management is where you can track your projects, tasks, to-do list, and your clients. So under the projects tab, you can see the active and archives projects. In the active task, you can basically see the project title, the themes, and you can see the team members working on that certain project. You can also track the budget and the teams involved. If you want to add or start a new project, just click on this add project and you will have a form to fill up in order to start the project. 
Now, under the to-dos tab, you can classify the to-do list based on what project it is under. So, let's say you have a small task to complete your project one. And then, just choose the project name here on the drop-down menu. As you can see, there is a task here. And to add one, click on this Add a To-Do button on the upper right part of the screen. And here, just add a title to your to-do. And you can also choose which person it is assigned to. Simply click on the Save button and it will then be added to your to-do list. Now, if you want to change projects, just click on this drop-down and choose what project you want to add a task. Last, under the project management is the clients. As you can see, I don't have any clients here, but basically their name, their budget, and auto-invoicing will be listed here. And you can import and add clients using these buttons. Now, moving on to the calendar tab, you have here the weekly view. So you can see from Monday to Sunday. And what you will see here are your shifts. So as you can see, I have here a sample of shift from 9 to 5 p.m. And it is shown here that it is missed because I did not turn on my hub stuff and time tracker during these times. So if you're using this as an employee, just take note of your shift times. Since this will be monitored by your employer and your total time work will be tracked here. So always take note of that as well. Now to add shifts, just click on actions and here tap on add shift. You can also choose the date, time, person, and some other details for a specific shift. And you can also change the view to monthly and day view for just better tracking. Under the reports, these are just some statistics of your overall performance like total hours work per day, weekly stats, and a lot more. So if you want to track your working performance, just scroll through the tabs in here. Now, under the People tab, you can see the members and teams. Under the Financial are some Payments History. And then last here is the Settings. So that is it. Just take note that your Applications, Links, Page, and Time is being tracked every time you are using Hubstaff. And this can be seen by your employer, so make sure that you are working or you are doing work-related stuff. So that is how to use Hubstaff as an employee. Do let us know if this video helped you out. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.